Hey babes, hello, hello, hello. So today I want to talk to you about something that spirit is really pressing me. And I swear, I, I'm not, I don't feel I'm the one that should be explaining this um, or bringing this to light or anything like that because like I'm human just like everybody else, okay? <clears throat> just know what I'm about to say is me trying to help. Okay. In no way, shape, or form, and I am I trying to um, make you feel bad. Not at all. Okay. I'm not trying to hurt nobody's feelings. Although I know a lot of feelings are going to be hurt, but I am not. I swear to you, I am not trying to hurt nobody's feelings. Just plant a seed to start actually waking you up. There's a lot of woke people. Oh, I'm so woke. I'm so woke. That are not woke. And I'm trying to help you get there, okay? Now listen, please, just listen. <clears throat> I said yesterday, there's no reason, I, I say it every year, <laughs> there's no reason to say Happy Thanksgiving to me. I do not celebrate any holidays, any holidays, okay? And there is a reason for this. There, Most of them are pagan rituals, okay? Um, most of them are just straight up rituals. Okay. And I, I noticed, I, let me show you, hold on. I'm gonna put a few people on blast, but it's not to hurt you. It's to help you. Okay. Hold on. Okay. So I wrote, I don't celebrate holidays and I'm thankful every single day. Okay. Today I mourn all the lives that were lost and their land when their land was stolen and their families were murdered. OK, because that is the true foundation of Thanksgiving. OK, that's how it started. Now, let me go to these comments because I was I was really shocked at how many people and I'm not even going to say it yet, but we'll start from the bottom. <clears throat> Somebody said that's OK. But for me, it's common courtesy. What's common courtesy? You celebrating a ritual? I don't understand. Please explain, Lisa. Somebody said, yeah, same. I celebrate indigenous people. But you're still celebrating. Okay. So right now, hmm, what I'm seeing is a lot of, it's not reasons. You guys may think it's a reason. Oh, well, this reason is the reason why I actually celebrate. Like, for instance, um, to each its own, right? I choose to be thankful for my family and friends today. Yes, that's great. But guess what? You're still celebrating it, okay? You're still involved in the ritual. Here, my, my friend Dorothy. You guys are all my friends. I'm just trying to wake you up. I'm trying to help you look at it. None of these are suffice reasons. These are all excuses to justify why you still celebrate, okay? And I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, although I know I will. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I'm trying to plant the seed to wake you up, okay? Let me see. I don't celebrate today for traditional reasons of Thanksgiving. I celebrate it with my family to be thankful we are all together and mourn those, um, the ones who have lost their lives in the past years, right? Um, see... The thing is, you're still picking the same exact day to celebrate and do the same exact rituals and have the same exact things on their plates as these people that started this whole ritual, ritual, okay? Let us let me just come over here real quick, okay? Boom. A ritual. A ritual is a sequence of acts. Activities involving gestures, words, actions, objects, food, <clears throat> um, performed according to a set of sequences. Rituals may be prescribed um, by the traditions of a community, including a religious community. So something that you're doing over and over and over on a specific day, you, you got specific words, Thanksgiving, specific, specific actions, we all gather around the table, specific objects, we all have this big turkey. Do you know what the turkey actually was, is a representation of? You know what I'm saying? Um, you probably don't. I don't even know anymore. It's just people are so freaking confused. And I'm just trying to wake you up because I love you. Because I love you. I, 
Why can't we buy a turkey in March and call that your day of, of, you know, celebrating your family? Why does it have to be the day of that day of the mass murders? Why? Somebody says, um, retired Sergeant Malin says, oh, that means so much to us. We have so, you have such a loving and beautiful spirit. Um, I'm part Indian, guys. I don't completely claim it because I don't know that side of my family. My mother's father is an Indian, okay? I don't know him. He's, he's passed away now. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter if I am part of them or not part of them because there's somebody else here, Lindsay Hollowell. She says, we're Indian and we still get down. You're probably a piece of Indian, okay? You're probably part white, part Indian, right? Because that's how it usually goes. Um, you're, these are just excuses. That's what I hear. I hear excuses. So let me give you a for instance. Okay. So let's say God comes down. Okay. Jesus, whatever you believe in, right? He comes down and he says, have you been doing the right thing? And you're like, yes, honey, I've been doing it. I've been doing my thing. He says, so there's been no convictions in your heart. Remember I told you I was being convicted over the food lately. There's been no convictions in your heart. Oh, nope, nope. Everything I'm doing, 100%. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Putting all the footwork in. And he's going to be like, well, what about you celebrating all these pagan rituals and all these rituals? Huh? That might be a deal breaker. Because how can, mm, how can God be happy about that when he knows his people were murdered? And we're still carrying out the traditions of what happened and how they celebrated after they did a massacre. Okay. And then you get this person, Teresa. Teresa, I'm going to pray for you. I really am. I'm not being sarcastic. I truly am just trying to help and wake you guys up. People are so stuck in the past. We need to move forward in life. We can't take back what was done to our ancestors. Live and let live. Turkey, turkey, yummy, yummy. Gobble, gobble, right? Family now is important. New traditions in our lives. Can't whitewash everything. Okay, but this is not a new tradition, number one, right? Um, she's saying that people are just stuck in the past. We got to get over it, right? We can't make it a race thing, although it's always been a race thing, okay? I am every race. I am everybody. I am everybody's voice that can't speak up for themselves. It's me. I got you. Okay, so Teresa, so this would be, let me break it down in something different so you can understand. Let's say, God forbid, right? Somebody breaks in your house, Teresa, takes your children, kills you, and takes over your house. And now they say, huh, this is my house now. So your children have children and they have children and I still have this house in my family line now. I should tell them children, yeah, get over it. It's in the past. Your mom was dead already. Forget about it. Let's make a new tradition. Really? Really? Come on. I'm just trying to wake you up. I know. It's going to hurt a lot of feelings because a lot of people can't see it this way, okay? All I see is excuse after excuse after excuse, and I am just trying to bring it to your attention so you can fix it, okay, before it's too late and you can't fix it, and then you're going to be judged for doing it, okay? I'm just trying to help, I swear to God. Teresa, again, I'm going to pray for you because this is not the right mentality to have. It really isn't. It's not. <sighs> this saddens me. It does. And I know there's a few people that understand it and they still do it. Or they understand it and they partially do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Make a day, right? In March. Whenever. On your birthday. To get all your family together and say, hey, this is the day I'm thankful for. And this is the day I want to recognize my family, not when the white man told me to do it, not when the white man tell me every every holiday 
go buy this, go buy that, go buy this, 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 this. And don't forget about Christmas. Buy all the presents up. Get the tree. Hang the heads on it. Go ahead. Nimrod, go ahead. They're telling you when and where and how to spend your money and indulge in these things that are not for us. We're not the wicked ones, but yet we celebrate it because it's camouflaged. Oh, it's about love and your family. No, it's really not. We, we have been, how do you say, programmed to believe that. Meanwhile, we're celebrating rituals, like actual rituals, like Travis Scott did his ritual. Yeah, those are the kind of rituals I'm talking about, guys. I love you so much, and I'm not trying to hurt nobody's feelings. I know I will. I know I'm going to lose a lot of subscribers, but guess what? It's not about the subscribers that I'm losing. It's about the subscribers that stay, because those are the ones I'm teaching. Those are the ones that are going to make it. Okay, so if, if, if I offended you in any way, Karen, <clears throat> it's okay. I planted my seed. Now I have to wait for it to grow. I'm not going to wait around, though. Okay, you got to water your own seeds. That's not my job. I'm just trying to wake you up. We're still Indian and we still get down. That's disgusting. I'm sorry, Lindsay Hollowell. Oh, well, oh, well. That's disgusting. The, the words that, that people use as their excuses come off to me so disgusting because I see through it. Okay, I'm not saying she's a disgusting person. That's just a really disgusting statement. It really is. And so it's like, yeah, <laughs> they killed all my family and, and, and the, you know, all my ancestors and all the children. And they raped the mothers and they stole the children and they beat the children and they raped the children and they killed the children and the mother and the parents and the grandmother and all that. <laughs> but we still celebrate <laughs> how the white man won. What? That freaking burns me inside. That's fire to my soul. And if you truly think you're woke and you're celebrating these, you're not there yet. You'll get there. When, that, when it hurts you in your soul so bad that you can't even look at a Thanksgiving dinner, then you're ready. Then you're ready. Then we could talk. Then I can help you grow. Since I've been on YouTube every year, I say, we don't celebrate. Now, don't get me wrong. Growing up, we did. But the house I grew up in is, was, was and is still very confused. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, if I sent this to my parents, I think my mom might understand it better than my dad. But I think she'd still celebrate it because she's so used to it. Because that's what she was programmed to do. And right now, this day and age is a spiritual war. And I'm trying to unprogram everything that man here has done to us. Everything they taught us is backwards. Everything. And if you can't understand that, or if you don't want to understand that, I can't help you. So everybody that, you know, everybody's going to start putting in, when I post this video, hold on, let me see if I'm still recording, okay. When I post this video, everybody's going to put their reasons of why they celebrate, right? They're going to try to justify it. These are not reasons, these are excuses. So you can save it. You don't, you don't even have to tell me your excuse or your reason, okay? Your, your excuse. You don't. Okay, I'm not here to badger nobody. I want you to start recognizing things for what they actually are. Okay, please. I'm going to go live, all right? I look like crap, but I'm going to go live because I know a lot of people's feelings are going to be hurt. And I will be there to give you that shoulder to cry on. Okay, it's not your fault. Please know this. It's not your fault. Okay, but we have to make a change. If we don't change, we're not going to make it to where we need to go. Do you understand what I'm saying? Huh? Like this one, eight likes. This one, seven likes to each their own. I choose to be thankful for my family and friends as you still celebrate a ritual. Hmm. Hmm.
Yikes. Do you see what I'm saying? These are not reasons to celebrate. These are excuses of why you celebrate. Why do you have to do it on that day? Why? Why does it have to be that specific day? Because a ritual is only good when you do it on a certain day. Okay? And we know that. 9-11. There's so many different days. We know this. So act like we know it. I celebrate the indigenous. No, you should be mourning them. <laughs> right now, there, this has nothing to do with it, but the indigenous children, 7,310, found in Canada and the United States. What are those called? Those, those schools, those reform schools, those boarding schools, whatever they're called. Dead in the backyards. I'm not eating and, and celebrating because them babies can't eat and celebrate. I'm not doing it that day. If I want to celebrate my family, I can pick a day, any day I want to pick. And I can get my whole family on board and say, hey, I want to celebrate our love as a family. When? Hmm. My birthday's February 20th. We could do it February 20th. And then the next day we could do it on your birthday. And then the next year we could do it on somebody else's birthday. Or somebody else just pick a date out the hat. Do you understand? And why do we have to do it the way they want to do it at the time they want us to do it and spend our money all at the same time on the same exact products? Ugh. Gets me upset because I see through the bullshit. I do. And if you don't, or if you don't want to, if you don't want to, that's not my problem. Okay? But if you don't see it and you want to see it, I will help you. Because you have to see it to, in order to grow. This is part of our growth as a spiritual person. You have to see through that bullshit that they're putting in front of us. I hope I explained myself well. If you have any questions, not excuses, any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, and let me know if you want me to go live as well, okay? Love you, babes.